friends of Skelevator. Stopped in at my local Walmart here in Central California and I found Wave 6. Okay, so the artwork for this Beast Man is awesome. I was really excited to finally be able to add the Lords of Power Beast Man to my collection. I missed out on the, the exclusives from the from last year's PowerCon. Um, and the comic is that comes the same comic comes with each figure. Um, and this is a great one, by the way. It's a great issue. Lots of great illustrations. Um, some pretty classic moments. Um, and he does not, this Beast Man does not come with any weapons, uh, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, however, he does come with uh, some cool armor and there were a couple of messed up paint areas some the inside of his mouth a little bit and then that spot on his head um, but I really love the red on this uh, definitely reminiscent of the mini comic beast man from the, from the original few issues um, and this armor is just I mean I'd seen pictures but seeing it in person he's really it's really out of this world very cool now, similar to the deep red of that Beast Man uh, that's reminiscent of the early mini, mini comics, this green goddess is also um, seen in the earliest uh, mini comics. Um, and uh, she is great to finally add her to the collection. Um, I've always been a fan of this particular version of Tila and the Sorceress combined. Um, and hoping to see her show up maybe in Revelation um, in some form or another. But uh, here she is, finally get to add her to the collection. Um, everything that we like about Tila and everything we like about the color green combined here to make a spectacular figure. Um, I really love the way this turned out. So Web Store is great to finally add him to my collection because I had him as a kid and I have very fond memories of playing with him until his, his backpack broke. Um, but this is a, a great illustration. You see there's a buzz off coming in wave seven and he's there. Um, and I just love, I love the illustrations here on the card backs as usual. They're, they maintain sort of a magical quality. I thought there would be backpack instructions here, but there's not. Um, and let's get them out and have a look. Now, I did notice uh, right away that there was a little bit of a paint scuff on his chest armor, um, but I love the head sculpt on this. Very reminiscent and a little bit better uh, than the original figure, um, but I'm really liking it. So that's, there's that paint scuff. It's not so bad. Um, I, I do want to say that it's a good idea to wrap up that rope um, on the little pegs as soon as you get it. Uh, don't play with this too much, folks. I heard that it does break easily, so be careful. Um, but man, I really like this guy and I really like his design. So I tried it. I wanted to try him out on, um, on my, my castle that I built. And here he is on Castle Grayskull hanging out. Um, and it's what a great addition to the collection here. He just looks great. I did try the mechanism. It does work. I'm not going to play with it very often because I don't want it to break, but it works, folks. Now, I'm, this is the guy I was really excited about. Um, he's advertised as having the smell, right? Um, and I did notice that uh, I'm showing you the web store package here, but there's a little vent on all the action figures, but the webs, uh, the stink or... Uh, card back does not have the vent. See, these all have vents so that the off-gassing of the plastic, I guess, can air out. Um, and they they opted to close the stink ore off, maybe so that they, won't pe they don't want people to smell them ahead of time. Um, and the face of the girl here, or the kid here, uh, just grimacing, it's the smell of him is, is hilarious. And I, this is so far, I think, folks, my favorite uh, card back art so far. Fantastic. Axel Jimenez, amazing work. And I'm excited that there will be a Moss Man. Hopefully he'll be flocked and we'll have the pine scent. Now, I got him out, and um, I have to say there wasn't much of a smell beyond maybe, 
it, and my wife said it maybe smells like burnt plastic. Um, there's no patchouli smell, folks. Sorry to disappoint. Uh, in my opinion, all stink or action figures should come with the patchouli smell so that we have that nostalgic uh, experience. And also the bottom is open uh, of his chest armor. All other versions of the chest armor, it's closed off. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but he comes with a shield, which is great, and that's the only weapon he comes with, uh, typical of Stinkor. Um, but I'm, I'm, the smell that is there is not, is not a bad smell. It's kind of a pleasant smell. It's like plastic, but it's a little bit perfumey. Um, but definitely not patchouli, so I am a little bit disappointed. Um, there is, here are all my Stinkors. Uh, I'm a big fan of this character. And uh, still, the original Stinkor is uh, the smell that we prefer as fans. There, I'm showing you the armor, how it is closed off on him and open on the new one. Um, and none of these other small figures come with a scent. Um, and the NECA statue in the back does not, of course, come with a scent. So I was really excited about this and sorry to say he does not have the smell that I was expecting. But Overall, folks, all these characters are aesthetically awesome. Um, I highly recommend you go out there and get them or pre-order them from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, keep an eye out, folks. So once again, thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. You can find Skelevator on Instagram and Facebook and check out my Etsy shop. Information is down below. And I'll see you next time, folks.